Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Fonner Park here on Saturday. It is the 24th of April, 2021. Going to look the featured ninth race from Fonner, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and also join me next Saturday for my Kentucky Derby preview. But um, to tell you the truth, I wasn't planning on looking at this race from Fonner, but um, I noticed Sleepy Eyes Todd was in the race, and I thought he's a very vulnerable favorite. Favorite, and I think you could go a few other ways with this race. So let's decide to. Uh, I decided to look at this ninth race. Let's get to it right now. The ninth race from Foner. It is the meet feature. It's the Bossman Gus Foner Stakes. It's going for a purse seventy five thousand dollars. Race for three year olds and up. We have ten horses going the distance of ground here of seventeen hundred meters. If you want to go by that, or the distance of ground of a mile and one sixteenth on the Foner main track, seventeen hundred meters, a mile sixteenth. And I show the diagram. Just gives me a second to look down my notes. Just bear with me. My top selection here, like I said, I think Sleepy Eyes Todd's a very vulnerable favorite. Um, we're gonna actually take the six horse Mo Mosa. We'll go six eight four nine in the Superfecta. Six eight four nine Super. Top selection is six horse Mo Mosa. This four year old Colt by Uncle Mo. Mike Maker trains. Armando Martinez gets the mount. The horse is most recent out again, third of April at Old One. Mile 16th and Ops with 50 Claimer. And the horse finished 6 by 6 lengths. And he just really never quickened up, never weakened out. It just kind of plodded along. You know, he, he just never got going. With a step down class to the bull ring from a good post draw, I think he'd really get a good race here today. Two back in allowance race, 8, 9,000, non 3 0 at Oakland over the mile trip on the 6th of March. He finished second by four and a half lengths, and he stalked all the way around the race course. The winner, Blackberry Wine, just had a bit of a better trip than him, but I didn't think it was a half bad race there. If he runs that race today, he could definitely win against these horses. And then prior to that at Oakland, a mile 16th in allowance race, 85,000, on 3 L. He finished second by a nose, and it was really, you know, if he wasn't drifting that day and very erratic in the stretch, he probably wouldn't have won easily, but he kind of was a little erratic in the stretch, and he just couldn't keep up there. Uh, but it wasn't improving off the race before it came 25th of November at Churchill. One mile on the soft and optional hunter. He finished ninth by 52 and a half lengths, or 59 and a half lengths. Excuse me. He was with him early on, and then he completely hit the wall. I do think the sloppy track just got to him there. And then prior to that, in the Fayette, Akeelan, a mile late early October, he finished ninth by 15 and a half lengths. Again, he was with him early on, but then he just had nothing. I think we're going to see a lot of pace early on, and I think from a stung position, this horse can really set up to run a good race. At 8 to 1, let's use him. Second likeliest winner is the 8 horse downtowner. Um, gets Spurs are up in the saddle. He's coming from Tampa, and his most recent Tampa race in late February was a very nice winning in an optional 25, winning by three and a quarter lengths, coming from the back of the pack, an all-around good wide race victory there. Before that, going around one turn, he ran okay there, uh, and then before that, a Tampa off the bench, he, he needed the race, but back to a, a rounding trip of ground. Another horse, he's going to get a good trip from the uh, outside post drum at 5-1, to one, let's use him. So to recap my selection for the ninth from Foner, it is the Bossman Gus Foner stakes. Let's take the number six horse Momosa. Give kudos to the eight horse Downtowner. Six eight four nine in the Superfecta. Six eight in the multi race. So good luck to all. And please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit Five. Good luck, everybody.